Hi, this is Megan of Megan's Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to make this painted wood look. I saw another designer that made a lot of painted wood papers and so I thought I would share with you my techniques for doing that. And this is a paper that I have in my new Sherlock kit that's out this weekend. And I'm just going to walk you through the steps of how I made it. First I started with a wood texture and I am going for painted pattern on the top layer, um, not in those crevices and the cracks. I don't want it there. You want it to look like it would if you tried to paint it on a flat surface and anything that was below that flat surface falls through, doesn't get the paint on it. So what that means is selecting areas. So first I went to image, adjustments, and brightness contrast. And here I beefed up the brightness so that in my next step that um, it'll select most of the top portion and anything really dark won't get picked up. So I increased the brightness to about there. You can always play around with it. Um, next thing to do is go to the select color range and I'm going to do this in two steps. First we're going to select the highlights which you can see is a pretty good chunk all this bright yellow spot and using control C on the keyboard I'm going to copy and paste it onto a new layer then I'm going to make that invisible come back to the original wood and go to select color range midtones to get some of these other colors and hit control C and control V and then I'm going to go ahead and combine merge these two layers of the highlights and midtones and you can see that's going to be quite a bit of it and then I'm going to go ahead and desaturate that and we can and you can see anything that didn't get desaturated, that's going to be the dark spots that the paint's not going to be sitting on top of. And we go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and try to bring it as close. I don't want it to be too dark, but closer to the middle underneath the peak. This helps that when we apply it as a texture to colors, that it keeps those colors as true to their original as possible. All right, and then I'm going to grab this pattern that I had down here. And uh, you can do any pattern you want. I just, I just chose this pattern. And then we want to duplicate this layer, which was our lights, our bright tones, and our mid-tones combined together. And I actually duplicate it one more time. Actually, two more times. I do quite a few blending layers when I do textures. And I make the first one an overlay. Oops, right overlay at 100% and then one at soft light 50% and then since mine has a white cream I'm going to actually do a linear burn if it was a darker color I might use linear light but I really want the texture to show up on that cream and burn linear burn is the best way to show up texture on a light color so I'm doing a linear burn at 10% then I'm going to select the top layer and the bottom of the pattern and create a clipping mask onto this layer with the highlights and midtones. And you can always tweak that, lighten things up, but here is a zoomed up look of how it shows the ripples in the wood, like this has really been painted on top of the wood. And you can see that the, the overlay does not go into the cracks so that it looks like a shadow and down in there. And then you've got the dark spaces not showing up like they've been rubbed away. Some of the um, textures and rubbed away and uh, yeah I just found it a really fun technique really fun to uh, apply to our woods to dress them up a little bit woods really popular in scrapbooking and this is a fun way to make it a little more unique and individual so I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you next time